what's up youtube it's your girl sunshine and today your girl just got a babysitter jason's sister is gonna be watching catalea because today i am going to the shooting range and i wanted to take you guys along with me so i just dropped her off um so i'm getting ready to head over to the shooting range so we will catch you guys there okay you guys so i'm at the shooting range nobody's here with me so i got on my eye protection and my ear protection and i'm gonna be i'm already inside of my lane i'm in lane six and if you i can't really hear myself so hopefully you guys can hear me i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna be working with for uh today so i'm just gonna flip this around so today I'm going to be using the Smith & Wesson m and 40. It is the compact style version and I have my magazine set up. So I'm going to sit this down here. Whenever you go to the shooting range, you always want to keep the firearm pointed in a safe direction. So I have it facing uh, right now. The safest direction is down range and I have two magazines. I only have 30 minutes today. So I'm going to be loading these magazines up. I have not shot, um, been to the shooting range in about two years. So I don't know how I'm going to do today. But here are my rounds. <laughs> I'm just going to be loading up. Loading up, loading up. Oh, I tried to load this. Uh, and there's a difference, you guys, between uh, personal protection rounds and uh, full metal jackets, the range rounds. So just loading my magazine up. I'm going to press this down and press in. I used to be able to load much faster than this. Um, me having a baby has made me super weak. So I'll definitely preload my magazines. I used to be a speed loader, but my fingers are so weak now that I can barely get them in and i'm dealing with also i just purchased this firearm so the spring inside of the magazine is pretty tight so uh it's a little bit harder to get the rounds in okay so that call just interrupted my uh video but i'm gonna leave the 10th one out because it's so hard to get it inside of this magazine so i'm gonna start loading the other magazine and this is called a magazine, by the way. I'm going to load it up so that I can already have them since I'm only dealing with 30 minutes. So I'm only dealing with 30 minutes of range time. So I'm going to get in here and get out, which is a lot of time for me. It's not going to, I'm not going to be in here all day, but I just wanted to come to the range. So I got both magazines loaded. Perfect. Got about nine rounds in each. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this camera set up so you guys can see what I am doing. So I'm going to turn it around one second. So this is my target. First thing I'm going to do is take the magazine. Wait one second. So I skipped the step. So I have my firearm right here. You want to make sure you keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. I'm going to take my first magazine and slide it into the magazine well. Hit it, make sure it's in place. And the first thing, before I cock this firearm, because it will have a round in the chamber, I'm gonna reverse the camera, sit the firearm down, and I'm gonna reverse the camera so that you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so it's cocked.
okay so that's finished so it's open as you guys can see and just want to check the second one in This is my target. I'm going to point out right here. I haven't been to the range in two years. I'm going to say this. I don't like these right here where it barely grazes the skin because those are any missed rounds are considered innocent people. So I want to get better at working on my grouping as again, I am using the 40 caliber. So I need to practice more. Definitely my grouping used to be way closer than this. So I'm not satisfied with this target. But I'm just going to show you guys the other one. I'm going to take it out and bring it closer. I did have it about 10 feet away, so I'm going to bring it in closer to see how better, uh, how I do. But overall, this is what I got. Okay, y'all. So, I am done. I, I'm back. I shot about, um a box of 50 rounds i didn't even shoot the whole box actually i left about um 15 off so um i definitely need to get to the range more often again i haven't been to the range in over two years so my hands even like and my last the last time i was shooting the accuracy that i was shooting on the one that i got used to it was a nine and this one was a 40 caliber so the recoil on this particular firearm i would say that it is uh more powerful and buying it by it being a compact style the smaller one such a high caliber in the compact uh gun meaning it's smaller than the standard size it really um over emphasized the recoil which is the kickback on the firearm therefore i do have to work on my grouping like my grouping used to be way closer together my shots used to be way closer together as you guys saw where i nipped two times where it barely grazed the uh neck so those are the things that i don't want to you don't want to have when you're practicing you want to eliminate those miss those you don't want anything you want to hit the target but again i was uh shooting from about uh, 20, 20 feet away, which I at the end I ended up bringing a target closer so that I won't have any misses. So when I brought the target closer, uh, I didn't have any misses. But at 20 feet away, as you guys can see, I those two rounds that were on the site uh, barely made the person. So those are considered innocent bystanders. But I just wanted to take y'all to the range with me and show you guys that I'm getting ready to. <laughs> get back up on my game and you know i need to come more often because you always want to stay you always want to stay ready and stay up on your uh game because you never know uh what may happen or it's a u-haul truck behind me uh the gun store oh shoot i forgot to ask them about getting a holster but um i need to bag up i'm i got my tactical gear on I need to act. I should have got a holster from them, but uh, I'm from Michigan, so the guy even asked me. Let me tell you, he even asked me uh, about becoming an instructor for him, and I'm like, no, I don't want to uh, teach here. I, I don't want to teach because, as you guys know, I used to train these classes. I used to I, I trained over 500 uh, students in michigan on how to protect themselves and use a firearm personal protection in the home you know in the firearm laws of michigan and even though i also was licensed in illinois and ohio to teach the gun classes so i've been training for but i haven't trained or did any shooting in over two years and i just had a baby so even 
then you know you would expect everything to come back to you and all your skills to come back to you but I was actually shaking and I was surprised because you know um, when you're shaking and your hand any kind of movement throws off your uh, throws off your shot and I was trying to hold my breath and uh, calm my nerves down uh, so that I can get a better grouping but I just know that I got to get used to uh, the noises and all that stuff again but you definitely if you're thinking about getting a firearm and you definitely want to get into the gun range and practice don't just get a firearm and be carrying a firearm around and you don't know how to shoot it so by me upgrading to a higher caliber and by me not being in a range in over two years I felt like I needed to uh, refresh my skills and see if I still got it and you never know how you do so I was shaking and all that stuff but I feel like the more I return to the range I'll get it back and I'll get my grouping uh, my shot groupings closer together and I'll be back <laughs> the uh, the bat <laughs> that I used to be um but I'm getting ready to go get my baby because that's one of the reasons I didn't even shoot the rest of the rounds I'm like I'm not used to being away from my baby so I'm like okay you did good enough you know let's get out of here wrap this up and go get her so that's all I wanted to take you guys to the shooting range with me today I hope you guys enjoyed this video peace love and deuces